this is the access door to the tank area in the back of the camper. This is the black tank here, and this is the original sensors. The new sensors for the sea level tank monitor system. It's a self-adhesive flexible circuit board that attaches to the side of the tank. There's two wires for each sensor. I've disconnected some of the wires from the original sensors and then hooked them up to the new sensors. And the tank, the forward of the black tank, is the gray tank. You can't really see the new tank sensor I installed, but it's kind of back in here, somewhere right in that area. Not all of the wires are used off of the original sensors, just uh, two wires per sensor for the new sensors. Access to the tank sensors for the front tank, which is a fresh, fresh water tank. You access those by removing the storage bin underneath the step to the cab over. And the sensors are right down there. You can kind of see where I've stuck the circuit board on the side of the tank. The original tank monitor was the same size as this piece of oak. I made this little piece of oak trim to cover up the hole left by the original tank monitor. So this monitor also has a water pump switch. That little green light lights up when our water pumps on. It will read our battery voltage. I'm at 13.1 volts. Fresh water tank is at 90%. Gray water is at 25%. Black water I'm at 20%. LPG system isn't applicable because uh, the tanks in this rig aren't able to be monitored. And that's the case with any tanks that you have in your typical travel trailer or uh, fifth wheel or truck camper.